We've all heard the buzz surrounding 3D printing. Some call it the third or 3D industrial revolution. But what exactly is 3D printing and how big of an impact will it have on our future? The concept is quite simple. Much like your printer prints ink on a page, 3D printers spit out material, whether it be plastic, metal, or even concrete, to form a three-dimensional object. But instead of printing one layer as ink from a normal printer does, multiple layers are stacked upon each other to create complex 3D structures. Think of it like making sliced bread, but in reverse. After putting one layer down, another is built on top of that, and so on until the whole loaf of bread is put together. Lost or broke something that you can no longer buy? Simple, create or download the design online and 3D print it out. And if you require moving parts in your design, the printer simply leaves gaps in the right spots or uses a special gel that can be dissolved or rinsed off afterwards. Speaking of design, 3D printing paves the way for incredibly customized objects made on demand to fit your requirements. Not only does this mean furniture, shoes, and appliances built to fit your lifestyle, but things like prosthetic limbs can have completely customized user designs as opposed to generic mass-produced products. Need something small and intricate? Typical 3D printers create layers approximately 100 micrometers thick, but some high-end machines can print as small as 16 micrometers. To put this in perspective, a typical bacteria cell has a width of between 1 to 10 micrometers. This has opened the door to using molecules for ink and has led to successful 3D printed pharmaceutical drugs such as ibuprofen. The tiny molecules are organized perfectly to create the desired drug effect. Hungry? In the future, you might be able to ask Siri to 3D print a meal perfected for your palate. But perhaps the most significant application is creating 3D structures out of living cells, or bio-ink. Instead of using plastic or metal, imagine 3D printing tissue to replace damaged skin or to reproduce entire organs from scratch. Instead of needing an organ donor, you just print one based off of your genetics. Amazingly, this technology is already being developed. For burns or scrapes, a scanner is used on a patient's wound and a personalized skin map is created. After this, the printer lays down cells one layer at a time until the area is covered. Organs are much more complex due to their large size, vascular networks, and interactions with the body. A scanner takes x-ray images of, say, a patient's kidney as cross-sections with incredibly intricate detail. And just like any other object, these organs are reproduced layer by layer, specifically designed for each individual. Though these are years away from being functional, it will certainly have a huge impact on the medical community. So while it may be a while before you end up with a 3D printer in your home, you can be sure that by the time it happens, the world will be a different place.